Hey there, welcome to another Flutter Mentor video. Today we're going to talk about columns and rows, which are two widgets from Flutter. So when you want to lay out multiple widget elements relative to each other, you need to use those two widgets because they take lists of children. Basically, a bunch of widgets next to each other, whether that be side by side or on top and below each other. So I'm going to talk about the two most used widgets for that, which are the column and the row. But for now, let's focus on the column. The column is very simple. Just like these arrows that show up in front of it, the column places you know, widget 1 above widget 2, and widget 2 above widget 3, and so on. Exactly like this. Now, when it comes to the row, it actually does it to the side, okay? It puts widget 1 there, and then to the right widget 2, and then to the right widget 2, it puts widget 3. I think this is honestly the most basic possible way to explain it. So, now to better understand it, let's put it to practice in a real app. Well, not a real app, but you know what I mean. So, here we've got a scaffold, and then in the body directly is a column. So, obviously, it's on the top left of the screen because we haven't changed anything. The only thing I did was create a container, a 100 by 100. I gave it a color. In fact, let's give it a name so it's easier to understand. It can be container 1. Why not? And now, let's do... Let's add two more containers like this. Let's call this one container 2 and container 3. Let's give it a different color. Sure, why not? Whatever you guys want. Whatever you want, Android Studio. Okay, so I will hot reload and there it is. So container 1, container 2, container 3. As you can tell, the column is doing exactly what I said it did. It's placing container 1 on top of 2 and 2 on top of 3 and so on if there were more containers. Now, let's learn how to manipulate where you want them to be at, okay? Because imagine you don't want them to be on the top left of the screen every time, you know? That's most likely what you need. In this case, you go ahead and do main axis alignment, okay? Now, what does main axis mean? It means the main direction of the widget. So the column goes from top to bottom. That's what the main axis alignment is, you know, vertical. On the row, this would be horizontal because the row positions widgets horizontally. So here you just do main, for example, let's do main axis alignment center. What, what's going to happen? It's going to go to the center, okay? The center of where it is at. There's a few other options like, you know, end, which will make it go to the end. The names are pretty much self-explanatory, like, you know, if you want to space them between each other, just do, not this, but space around. You can play around with this. Instead of space around, it can be space, you know, between and evenly. As you can tell, the difference isn't that much, but it can be very relevant to your needs. There is also start, but in this case it will be pointless because it's the same as where it was, as where it was before. Now, beyond this, if you want to change it to the side, then it will be cross axis alignment. Remember, the axis alignment is re related to how the widget positions the widgets, okay? The widget list that you give them. Like you see, you see right here, children of the column. And this is a list, okay? It's just a list, a list of widgets, that's all. It sometimes seems more complicated than it really is. Now here, you would go and say, cross axis alignment, put it to the middle, sh shall we? And that didn't work. Why didn't it work? Well, if we come over here, and I will leave this on from now on, you'll realize that the column, like, this is all it's taking up, okay? So, when you put it to the center, it doesn't change because this side, it's not, it's not taking, the, the column is not taking it at all. What the column does is take the maximum amount of space vertically, okay? Horizontal, it always takes the minimum amount of space. So, in this case, if you really wanted to fill the whole thing, you would have to do dot stretch. And that would stretch the containers all the way there. Now, let's say that you want them to be you know, not stretched, but 
like this, but on the right. You want them to go all the way to the right. Well, there's actually a really simple trick you can do. You can just come here and do a container. And in the container, you give it a width, and that's it, because you don't want it to be visually perceptible to the user. You do not want it to be part of the UI. So here you would do double dot infinity, and in case you don't know, double dot infinity just fills you know as much as the the screen allows you. And as you can see, like here, the the container is right here. Like you can't see it because it has no no height, so basically it has no size. In fact, if I turn this off, you can't see it. But it has helped you put the containers on the right, right here. Because now, this container right here is filling up the entire width of the screen. So the cross axis alignment dot end can actually be put to effect. For example, if we do center, it will still work thanks to the, the container with the double dot infinity. But for now, let's delete this container, go back to what we were doing, because there is another. I'm going to delete this because it's pointless right now. There is another important uh, property of columns, which is main axis size. Let's say that you don't want it to fill in the entire vertical space, you know, because right now the column goes from here to here, okay? This is the column right here, even though it has no elements. Uh, one thing that you could do, in fact, the best thing you could do is main axis size, not alignment. I don't know why this is recommending the wrong thing, but okay. Size dot min. And then, as you can see, now the column goes from here to here. Now let's say that you want your widgets to not be so crammed up. You want to, you want to have space between them, but not not so much space as I showed you before with the space around and space between. Or maybe you want to control the amount of space. Well, it's a very simple way to fix that, which is just creating a size box. And you need, you need to remember we're talking about you know a vertical direction here, so the size box just needs a height that's it like just give it any height that is noticeable and you save and there it is this is the size box right here and there you go only 20 dpi's of distance between those two now let's get into rows now if i simply come here and type in row and i save it there you go it's suddenly a row and as you can see the widgets are next to each other horizontally instead of vertically okay i mean in the beginning it might be confusing but trust me after using them a few times you'll have no trouble at all uh but one thing that is very interesting is that there is no longer any space between container one and container two and why is that do you know think about it for a second okay if you don't know i mean it's okay that's what you're here for to learn but think about it, the height is 20, but this is sideways, okay? Like, it's still here, but the height is 20. The width is zero, so nothing shows, okay? So you gotta come here and you gotta t type in width, and if you do this, then it happens, okay? It's as simple as that. It's all about the direction it's currently on, you know? You always gotta think about it like that. As you can probably imagine, everything that I showed you on column applies to row, but horizontally rather than vertically. For example, if I come here and I do cross axis alignment and I do, you know, stretch, which is over here, and I save, what do you think is going to happen? There you go. They will uh, occupy the entire screen on the direction that you specified. Because it's a row, it goes sideways, so the cross axis alignment goes vertically. It's very simple. And, you know, what happens if we do this, end, instead of start? Well, no surprise there, right? Because you remember what I told you before about the column. So, in the row, naturally, horizontally, it takes up the entire screen. However, I forgot to get rid of this one, which actually makes it as small as possible. If I remove this, then it goes to the end, because there is nothing telling it to not occupy the entire horizontal length of the screen. And of course, you have the other options as well, you know, space evenly, space around, space between, and it behaves accordingly, as you would expect. 
it's pretty much the same as before with the column, you know? And this is also pretty much the same. Now, obviously, if you change it to end, it stays in the same place. Why? Because vertically, it doesn't take up as much space as possible. It takes up as much space as its children, okay? They are basically the exact same widget. The only thing that changes from column to row is the direction, okay? Column is vertical and row is horizontal. So anything that I showed you before on the column is also applicable to the row, but you just need to understand that it has a different direction. Instead of vertical, it's horizontal. I'm also going to drop a link below to this Flutter layout cheat sheet so that whenever you come into trouble and don't remember anything, you can just come here, you know, very well illustrated how it works and what each code does to it, you know? So if you forget anything, just come back here or rewatch this video, of course, but if you just want to read it, this is better. And I would advise you to read through the whole thing and then try to practice on your own to see if you've really grasped every single concept that this article has. Now, before we go, if you're interested in a challenge to practice what you just learned, how about trying out this layout here? If you are capable of doing it on your own, then I think it'd be very safe to say that you learned this correctly. So good job for you. If you want me to post a video with a solution to this, let me know in the comments below, but I'm sure you will get it on your own. Good luck. This is Flutter Mentor and out.